हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डीजी इंटीग्रेटिव वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 269 RBI's tokenization deadline the Reserve Bank of India has announced that its new guidelines on storing credit card data will come into effect from July 1st instead of earlier date of January 1st 2022 The new feature allow people to easily split a bill and pay quickly it is now available for use and people can try it right away the new bill splitting feature is a bit similar to how splitwise application works Amazon is hosting the last sale of the year called as smartphone and TV upgrade sale. Amazon offering discount on Redmi 9A, Redmi Note 10S, Xiaomi 11 Lite, Nene 5G and many other phones. This smartphone year end sale would go live on December 25th and would be on till December 31st. Reliance Jio successfully trialed connected robotics on its own 5G network. Jio conducted trials on 5G RAN and 5G SA networks. Jio 5G robotics portfolio include heavy lifting and logistic solutions to healthcare robotics assisting medical staff. According to the teaser poster, the IQ9 series will debut on January 15th in China. The series will comprise us with the Vanilla IQ9 and the IQ9 Pro. The phone's first official look is visible in the poster. The device seems to have a similar BMW tone rear design, but this time around, the rear camera island will be oversized. It is horizontally wide camera module holding three lenses. Today Vivo confirmed that the report as it announced the January 5th launch event of the Vivo V23 series in India. At this event the Vivo will unveil the Vivo V23 and Vivo V23 Pro and both will come with a color changing glasses making them India's first smartphone to have this feature. The Xiaomi 12 renders shows punch hole cut out triple cameras and a vegan leather finish. The image shows a flagship will be available in green, grey and blue color options. The Xiaomi 12 specifications include a 120 Hz AMOLED display, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset and a 50 megapixel triple sensors. The launch of the Realme GT2 series is right around the corner. The brand has now revealed the front look of the Realme GT2 Pro. The Realme GT2 Pro will feature a punch hole display with the narrow bezels. Realme 9i has been listed on AliExpress ahead of this launch and the key specifications have been revealed about this smartphone please check out the screen to know more specifications of this mobile OnePlus Note 2 CE won't be coming to India before Feb and it is expected to launch in quarter 1 of 2022 and it will launch in India and Europe only Lenovo Mobile Business Group general manager Chen Jin has disclosed on Weibo that the company is working on the third generation Moto Razer Flip foldable smartphone behind the scenes in China. He also revealed that the phone will be coming up with the Star Orbit Hink technology giving it a seamless display outlook when the phone is unfolded. Lenovo's new gaming smartphone is called as Legion Y19 and while the company has not detailed its specification sheet yet it did reveal a few specifications of the phone's display the Lenovo Legion Y90 will pack a 6.92 inch E4 AMOLED screen with a 144 Hz refresh rate and a 720 Hz touch sampling rate the panel supports HDR content and the smartphone will come with a dual engine air cooled system for sustained performance Android 12 well is currently in the beta phase as it aims to optimize the user experience for large size devices like tablets and foldables. Meanwhile, Android 13 Tiramisu is getting its first look as XTA developers reveal screenshots from an early build of Android 13. The outlet confirms that it is confident about the screenshot it is providing in its report. The first feature is codenamed as Panlingual and users would be able to set universal language for the UI and menus as well. And then you can set languages to application on per app application basis the next evidence is on notification feature this means the app would no longer be able to spam users with notification without consent and there will be a new layout for the lost screen clock as well with android 12 the clock changed into a two line layout that changes into a single line when the notification appears with the android 13 you would be able to disable the two line clock layout together keep in mind that these are very early builds of android 13 and that the final list of features may change even before the developers preview start to arrive which usually happens soon after google ivo normally sometime in may El Salvador President Nayib Bukele has hinted that days of flat currencies may be over for good. He mentioned that El Salvador to be spearheading a revolution with its Bitcoin adoption. El Salvador has received multiple warnings from international organization against its Bitcoin use. 
the world's largest contract manufacturer for chips and Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company is reportedly to set to begin the production of chips built on its 3 nanometer process in the fourth quarter of 2022 according to the rumors apple is expected to release its first devices with the 3 nanometer chips fabricated by tsmc in 2023 including macs with m3 chips and iphone 15 models with an a17 chips the new 3 nanometer process will feature enhanced performance capabilities and a better battery life. Vijay Sales announces a special Apple Day sale. The sale brings discount on iPhone 13, MacBook Pro M1, iPad Air, AirPods and many more. The sale is live and will last until December 31st on the company's website and stores. TikTok, the video-focused social networking service, has dethroned Google as the most popular domain on the worldwide basis in 2021. Previously, TikTok was revealed to retain the top spot on the list of most downloaded applications on smartphones in 2021. Please check out the screen to find the list of top 10 of most popular domains visited in the year 2021. After smartphones and laptops, Smart TV is the third most sold smart device in India. At the same time, the opportunity for this device has grown in imminence. India has a little over 200 million households with a TV set. Additionally, there are commercial spaces like hotels, offices, besides public areas like airports, restaurants where TVs are installed. As per the reports, India has currently a little over 22 million smart TVs installed base. Twitter recently unveiled its subscription-based premium service which is called as Twitter Blue. Twitter Blue is so far not available in India but that appears to be changing soon. We have located the Twitter Blue icon on the social media handle which hints at an imminent rollout. Krafton will now ban devices of BGMA players who are caught cheating. Hardware bans are expected to reduce the number of repeat offenders in BGMI. BGMI players can now expect a fair gameplay experience. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.